All right, um, so we're going to take a look at uh, the basics of vectors here. We're going to do a little series so um, people can, uh, you know, get their bases for uh, higher level mathematics. Um, simple things like vectors, matrices are going to be really important to uh, remember and be important tools to be able to utilize uh, in higher level mathematics. Uh, so we're going to start out uh, taking a look at uh, vectors. You know, they're used all uh, in calculus, differential equations. You'll see them everywhere, uh, linear algebra. So uh, we want to take a look and just see uh, some basics of vectors. Uh, we need to start with notation. You'll see here um, that I've notated vectors u and v with parentheses. Um, vectors, you might also see notated a similar vector u. You could see notated such as this. Um, with those brackets around it, that's uh, vector notation. Uh, another way to notate it is uh, in matrix form. where those are the components of vectors. So don't be confused when I do that. Uh, these are just vectors. I'm going to uh, notate some of them that way when we're doing some examples. So uh, the basics of addition, um, you add vectors component-wise. You have vectors u1, u2, and u3, uh, excuse me, vector u, that's uh, components u1, u2, and u3. Uh, vector v, components v1, v2, v3. Uh, it's very simple, the addition. And that's going to be your resultant vector. Now, you can't add a vector in uh, R2 to a vector in R3. That makes a lot of sense. You can't add a vector in 2 space to a vector in 3 space. Um, and we want to think of subtraction of vectors as adding a negative. Um, so I have V minus U here. Instead of V minus U, we're going to do V plus negative U. And then negative U is just going to be negative U1, negative U2, and negative U3. So it would just be... And this is our resultant vector when you do v minus u. We can take a quick look at uh, some examples here um, just to show you guys uh, what it's going to look like when you're actually using numbers. So we have two vectors in three space, seven, negative two, eight, and five, six, four. The resultant vector Make sure you're adding component-wise. And your resultant vector is going to be 12, 4, 12. Uh, let's take a look at uh, an example of subtraction. So we have 4, 1, 3, minus 6, negative 17, 12. We're going to do plus and negative. So this vector is going to become, it's going to become plus and negative 6, positive 17, negative 12. And your resultant vector is going to be negative 2. 18, negative 9. So that's just the basics of uh, vector addition. It's very simple. Um, just make sure that you're adding component-wise. And when you're um, subtracting vectors, make sure you're adding a negative. We'll look at why in the geometric interpretation of that. Uh, now, multiplying by a scalar, very similar to uh, vector addition. You need to multiply each component of the vector by a scalar. And uh, uh, dividing a vector by a scalar is really just multiplying by a scalar that's a fraction. So we're going to take a look at uh, vector v, n, v. n, v1, comma, v2, the resultant vector. So you can see it's pretty simple. Uh, scalar multiplication is just going to be a uh, result in a vector where each component is multiplied by that scalar. We'll look at a quick uh, couple examples here. So 
So three times the vector negative six, four, three. Uh, just make sure you're multiplying three times negative six, three times four, and three times three. Your resultant vector negative 18, 12, nine. Uh, and now we can uh, look at um, a quick example of what it would be to divide. The vector negative 4, 8, negative 16 divided by 2. It's really just a uh, scalar 1 half times negative 4, 8, 16 in the resultant vector. negative two, four, eight. So those are the basics of uh, scalar multiplication and vector addition. Um, they do have some properties that we didn't go over, um, but those are very simple uh, and they follow along with um, the definition of these properties. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.